Welcome to Enabling Incoming and Outgoing Email from Moss 2007. I'm going to start with Enabling Incoming Email on the server. If you have Windows Server 2003 and SharePoint or Moss 2007 installed, you should have under your administrative tools a link for SharePoint 3.0 Central Administration. You click on that, you'll see a uh, operations link here on the top left. To enable incoming email, we click on the in incoming email settings and then it will be disabled by default. So the first thing we'll do is enable that by clicking yes here and then by giving it a, uh, a domain to listen to. So in our case I could use Microsoft.com for example to listen for email on Microsoft.com which wouldn't be good so I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch that to a um, sample email address which would be moss.somecompany.com you don't need the word moss but for my example that's what I, my email domain it looks like I could also choose whether or not I want to receive email from any server or from one of my internal servers so I'm going to go ahead and say OK and I'm going to save this close this down pull up my uh, portal my little test portal here and on my test portal I have a test site called uh, recruiting sites a demo recruiting site and then there I've got a SharePoint list that will handle all of my incoming resumes for my sample my sample company here so I'm going to go to the settings of this list go to document library settings so that I can enable email for this list so now you see I have an incoming email settings link here on the right side under communications I go ahead and click on that which is disabled so I'm going to go ahead and enable it and for this SharePoint list I want this list to listen to any email that comes in the address of jobs at moss.somecompany.com and as you can see I've got a few options as to how to handle the email once it comes in I will uh, show a few of those options later on the important one for now is that I want to be able to receive email from the outside world so I would have to accept email messages from any sender all right, hit OK there. Now you'll see that my SharePoint list, this one, is listening for any email sent to jobs at mossitesomecompany.com. So let's go ahead and test that. We'll go and switch to our incoming resume list. And you see I have no files there now. I'm going to go ahead and open uh, Outlook up here. And this Outlook session is logged in as someone outside of the, the moss.somecompany.com ad address. So I'm going to send an email to that that email address that we established, which is jobs at moss.somecompany.com. If I can type it, there we go. Um, the subject will be, um, we'll put in my, everybody yet, let's go ahead and put in the resume of John Doe. All right, I'll put in a quick message here to go along with the resume, and then go ahead and attach uh, my resume my sample document if you will and I will attach the John Doe resume hit the send button now uh, in the real world let me minimize uh, Outlook in the real world uh, it would take a few minutes for the email to show up depending on how your server is set up but I'm speeding it up for my recording here and so voila there's my document when it was sent and there's the email address of the person who sent it okay so now that we've got the simple how to uh, handle incoming email, let's go ahead and uh, uh, change one of the settings for the uh, for the list. So I go back to my settings here, go back to the incoming email settings, and what I want to do this time is I want to actually uh, keep the um, the email message that went along with the attachment. Before, as you can see, I have the attachment, but I don't have the actual email. So I go ahead and save the original email, hit OK go back to my list here and uh, let's go ahead and delete the uh, the document that we already have so let's say yes to that and then we'll go ahead and um, and uh, bring Outlook back up and send another email so let's go ahead and uh, hit new we'll send it to the same email address which is the jobs at moss.somecompany.com put in the subject my resume there we go, my resume. 
and now I'll put an actual message in so we can see that we actually got the message along with the uh, attachment. So this is my resume will be the message and the attachment will be John Doe resume. Let's go ahead and send that email. And again, we will speed it up a little bit so I will uh, minimize this and then I'll speed up the recording. So the resume will show up right now. There it is. So I've got the attachment and I've got now the email. So both of those two. So if I actually click on the email link, it'll show me the, what was in the body of that email. So this is my resume was what we typed in. And I still have the attachment as well. So let's show one more of the many options of how to deal with the email. We're going to change uh, how the attachments are stored. So let's go ahead, delete these two. All right, delete the attachment. All right, now I'll just go to the settings link, go back to the document library settings, go back to the incoming email section, and uh, I'll turn off the save the original email uh, part because I don't need that for this, this example. But I want to change how I deal with the attachments. I want all the attachments to be stored by the email uh, sender address. So I hit OK, go back to my list here. And then I will uh, go ahead into Outlook, send another email again. So I hit a new to the same address. Each SharePoint list has to have a different email address that it's listening on, but each SharePoint address can have at least one email address that it's listening for emails on and attachments and whatnot. So here's my resume. I will uh, go ahead and attach a document again. Hit the send button. Go ahead and minimize that. And then in a second here, you will see the resume show up, but this time, there it is, it will show up in a folder. The fo uh, folder by the person who sent the email. So that's how the, each, each attachment would be stored. If I open that folder, you'll see the attachment sitting right there. Okay, so now that we have that, one of the other things you do in uh, document workflow is if someone sent you an email, you may want to send an automated response. So let me show you how to enable uh, automated responses from SharePoint. So we'll go back to our central administration link and go back up to the operations link and then right uh, above the incoming there's the outgoing email. So all you have to do is put in your SMTP server address or your exchange address, which however you deal with that your your email. So I'll go ahead and put in the moss at some company dot com uh, address, and then a uh, an email address that you want all of your automated email, the ones that SharePoint will send out as soon as it receives an email. So this is, would be a part of your workflow, but this would be the email address that the server would if I could type some company dot com. This would be the address that the emails would be sent from. Hit OK and you're done. All right. So with that, I am done with this recording. Look for more recordings on Document Workflow and see my blog for more.